Okay, this is my June thing. Oh, blah blah blah. Good afternoon, good morning, everyone. Sorry about my crease shirt and just ignore that. But um, since I filmed this prom makeup look, I thought, why not waste the why waste the makeup when you can film another video in it? Hi guys, it's my June favourites, and here we go. First product I've been loving this June is Rimmel London's. Sun Shimmer Self Tan Mousse. Now, this says it develops in one hour and lasts up to seven days. And I got this in the dark matte version. I think that it does last a good seven days. It has fades slightly, but that's like no worry as well. No worry as well. I can't even speak. No worry at all. It just fades slightly, leaving you with a really good tan still. And it's not patchy and it's not drying. So, if you want to start out with a mousse, then I use this because it's pretty cheap. It's about, about five, six pounds, and um, it's really easy to apply. I use two pumps for my legs, and then I get my self tanning mitt. I go like that for a bit, and then I brush it upwards and blend it in really quickly. It does set really quickly. That means you can dry, you can dry, you can put on your clothes on and you're out the door in like two minutes. Also, the color is really natural. I'd say it's quite, I don't know, Moroccan-y type feel. I think it's red, red based, no, I don't know what type. It's quite neutral, it's a neutral tan. And um, yeah, I really like this. It doesn't have the biscuity smell, but I found that afterwards I had tanned and washed it off. I did smell a bit funky. Um, just bear that in mind. Now to moisturise a couple days before I do fake tan and exfoliate, I use the Aveeno Active Naturals Daily Moisturising Lotion. Now this has oatmeal in it and it's just a really nice basic thick moisturiser. I say thick and that sounds really disgusting but I'm telling you it's not. It just sinks in really beautifully into the skin and it's just really smooth and really good for your skin if it's dry. If you have dry skin, this is amazing. If you have ultra dry skin, this is amazing. I have ultra dry skin and it's just as scaly as F. But um, yeah, if I use this, then I'm no longer scaly. And it's fragrance free as well, so it's great for sensitive skin. And my friend recommended this to me, and thank you so much Jyoti, because I really love it. And it's on offer at the moment in Boots, so yeah. Really recommend this if you have dry skin and are looking for a fragrance free basic moisturising lotion. This is my favourite hair shampoo at the moment. This is the Dove Hair Therapy Hair The Dove Hair Therapy Damage Solutions Intensive Repair Shampoo. This is just a really nice one for if you have dry hair. So I bleached my hair this month and it I'm scared of it breaking and being overly dry. But I haven't found that because I've been using this and loads of hair masks and things like that to prevent it. And my sister's been saying, whoa, your hair isn't damaged that much. It isn't really damaged. It feels really smooth and soft still, um, just slightly dry. And um, I really love this. It has a nice, clean scent and um, it does the job. It cleans the hair without stripping it. You don't need much of it either. Yeah, it's just really nice and like soothing on the scalp as you massage it in. A little goes a long way and it does foam up a lot and the lather of it is really thick and it's just so nice on the hair. Yeah, I really recommend that. Now, this is a tiny little sample of the Estee Lauder Day Wear BB Cream, all day wear, double wear BB Cream and I have been loving it this month. I have this in the shade Intensity 4, I think it is. And it's quite a thick texture. It has a medium to, yeah, a medium coverage, I'd say. And you just apply it on. It's quite luminous. I wouldn't say it's dewy. I'd say it's more of like an inner glow that it reflects. I'm not wearing it today, obviously, um, but I have been wearing it throughout this month and it just lasts all day providing you with a good coverage and this colour has been amazing especially for the summer because it's not my face skin colour but it's my fake tan colour and yeah it's just a really nice one for if you want a medium coverage I keep 
even repeat myself. A luminous glow, lit from within. You want it fuss free, I guess. I have actually, oh, I, I love this highlighter so much. This is the Topshop Illuminator in the shade Ember. Now, I don't really use the other shades in this, but the highlighter in this is absolutely beautiful. It's really glowy and it's got a pink sheen, but it just captures the light like no other highlighter I've used. And it's beautiful. I just use this brush here and I dab it in to the product. All right, why don't we just put some in now? And I don't know if you can tell, but it's an amazing dewy glow. I suppose if you swirl this whole thing, you can create a blush shade that is sheeny and like glowy with some purple, purple no, plum burgundy tones in it. But I haven't been using those. This is my sister's. I've nicked it off her because she doesn't really like it. But yeah, I've been loving this highlighter shade. Now. If you want big voluminous, what am I talking about? If you want big voluminous eyelashes, I suggest this one. This is by Essence, Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Waterproof Mascara. You guys know that I like waterproof mascara just because it holds the curl and everything like that. And this has a really fat wand. It's natural bristle and um, it's really big towards the start and then it gradually fades into this small nib at the end. I just find that it coats every lash and you can build it up, build this up a lot to create big full lashes and it really holds the curl basically, really like this. I wouldn't say it's that lengthening, um, more of the volume side but you do get a little bit of length. Finally, this is the Revolution Redemption Palette in Romantic Smoked. I open it. As you can see, this is all plummy purple tones. This is not what I would normally choose. I don't really have any eyeshadow palettes, really. I just take them off my sister. She likes to wear eyeshadow sometimes. But um, yeah, so you have some brown moire shades, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six matte shades, and one, two, three, four, five, and six shimmery shades. But I don't find the shimmery shades to be that pigmented. Um, the matte shades are very pigmented. You do get a little bit of fallout, but I can forgive that because it's only four pounds. Plumish shades are really great for brown eyes. I have brown eyes and yeah, it's really beautiful on the eyelid. I'm not wearing it today, but yeah, it's really great and really good value for money. 12 shades for four pounds. That is amazing. And I would really recommend it if you're looking for a purpley, purpley smoky palette for oh and I've taken off my makeup now but I also have been loving Saw Lip Pencil by MAC it's a beautiful shade if you want natural lips just to enhance your lip shape or build bigger lips yeah so it's quite a dusky minky browny pinky shade but this can be quite dry so I suggest applying a little bit of lip balm underneath um, like five minutes prior to applying this and you should be fine very long wearing and it's just very good if you want to enhance your lip shape. So yeah. Oh my gosh you guys, I totally forgot about some music favourites. Oh, <laughs> the nose is over me today. It's been a really rockety day. I've filmed three makeup looks including this one and yeah, so music favourites. I have been loving Goodbye by Who Is Fancy. Now this song has been out for some time now but it's only recently been available on Spotify and um, yeah so I've been got I've gone crazy for it and it's just a beautiful melodic song melodic song um, yeah the person singing has a beautiful voice and he is amazing it's just a beautiful song girls by the 1975 I've been loving Arrows of Eros by Golden Silvers Cadillac Cadillac Girl by Only Real Can't Feel My Face The Weekend and literally I haven't that song doesn't get out of my head um, I know there's going to be Brackets Good Times by Jamie XX Drawing Board by George Ezra Every Night by Imagine Dragons Blind Man in Amsterdam by George Ezra 
intro by the XX. That's not really a song, but it's, um, if I'm in the mood for it, I really like it. Hourglass by Catfish and the Bottlemen. Homesick by Catfish and the Bottlemen. My Number by Fowls. Fowls? Fowls? I don't know how you pronounce that, but anyway, my number. Um, there's Always Like This, Bombay Bicycle, Bicycle Club. And is that all the songs that I've been loving? Yeah, that's all the songs that I've been loving. I love songs so much. Just can't get enough of them. Yeah. Okay. Really time for me to buy now. Bye. <laughs>